وحتى لو انا كنت راح امشي بالمحاضره حتى لو واحد حاضر فشكرا لكم راح نسجلها وراح نحطها بيوتيوب وراح نرد مره ثانيه ندز الرابط بالجروب مالكم والحين انا اشكر الزملاء والزميلات اللي حاضرين واشكر ايضا استاذه ساره واستاذه صفاء على هذه المحاضره وعلى وقتهم ويعطيكم الف عافيه So good morning, everyone. Before starting, I would like to thank Ms. Jumana Berbihani and the entire Bar Association team for welcoming us today and giving us the opportunity to meet and interact with all of you. I also thank the members of the association for their interest in studying in France and learning the French language. Let me introduce myself. My name is Sarah Juani head of the Campus France office and university mission manager. My office is located at the French Institute in uh, Jabria, French Institute of Kuwait in Jabria. I will give you my contact and you can take my phone number um, if you are interested to have uh, an appointment with me. Do not hesitate to also uh, follow the Campus France Kuwait, French Institute Kuwait and French Embassy Instagram account to follow our news. I am among you today with my colleague Safa, who will speak a little later. We are here today because we wish to bring you important and useful information concerning access to higher education in France, especially pros um, application procedures learning the French language, which is necessary to be able to study law in France. I am approached quite regularly by students or um, lawyers with bachelor degree from the Faculty of Law of Kuwait University who tell me of their desire to pursue higher studies in France and uh, in particular to be able to access a master in law or PhD. The objective being for the majority to obtain a master degree, then a PhD, with a scholarship program of Kuwait University, um, which will guarantee a position at the university op upon return. So I would like to draw your attention to several points. Uh, I will start by explaining the application procedures to you. If you are interested to apply for French universities, you must apply on a, on a website. The name of the platform of the portal is Études en France. The application uh, submission schedule for master degree start October 1st every year, okay? So if you are willing to, up to enter university next September of 2024, you must apply the year before 2023, and we start the application 1st of October, and you have until end of February. So th the deadline is end of February to apply to enroll next September for master, master one or master two. So if you are, are interested to apply, this is the, the process. You are applying, you create your account on the platform Etude en France. You will download all the document required, which is, um, one minute. Yeah. ID photo copy of your passport. If you are applying for a one year long uh, stay visa for studies, you must have minimum validity of 15 months with your passport. Your diploma, the bachelor degree, the original one in Arabic and the translation in English. Your resume, a cover letter in French, uh, if you choose a training in French language. A language certification, so it will be B2 or C1, but we will explain this uh, point later. Um, and if you have a scholarship from Kuwait University or from the ministry, you should give 
ministry scholarship certificate. When you apply, you should download all these documents on the application file. So when you apply on this platform for a master degree, you have the possibility to choose seven programs of master or seven universities. It means that you can choose a different master in the same university, or you can choose seven different universities. Once you, are, you have submitted your application, I will contact you and you will come for a meeting or for an interview at my office. After that, you have to pay fees for Campus France at the French Institute, which is, uh, the amount is 70 KD. And then once everything is uh, complete and validated by me and by the French Embassy, the, your application will be viewed by all the universities you choose on the application. And then they will give you the answer. Still on this portal, they will give you the admission or if they don't give you admission, they are supposed also to give you the refusal of, of the, the answer, the decision. There is also the possibility to have to obtain admission outside this uh, portal. For example, maybe you contact directly with the university, you have contact, and or maybe with the cultural office, you can have admission. So you also have to do um, an account on the same platform, but it's, it's like pre-consular application. And you will choose, I am accepted. It means that you have, a, you have an admission without doing the, the application, all the application process. So you create your account, you still have to pay the fees, you still have to do an interview with me, but it's just like a f a administrative step to later apply for a visa long stay visa for study. So it, this is the first part I, I, I want to, to keep your attention. So as I mentioned, the level required to apply for a master in law in French language is the level B2 or C1. And you need to prove your level with a certification of French language and usually we ask for the DELF B2 or the DALF C1. But you have to know that uh, the universities are asking more and more the DALF C1 because it's very competitive and they will always choose, of course, the best student with the strongest level of French. So to, if you are willing to study and to do a master or PhD in France, you should know that it's uh, very important to start to learn the French language as soon as possible because it's like a long process to reach the level, the minimum, the minimum level required. And um, in Kuwait, you can start to learn the French language when you are studying or working at the French Institute. Or you have also the possibility to, uh, the opportunity to travel in France and take a summer course or longer course in a school there. We have a lot of uh, partnership with many schools in France, in many cities. And uh, this year we work with uh, a specific school called, may named Cavillam, located in Vichy. So this is the map of France, okay? And the school, this is Paris here. The school is located somewhere here. It's like two hours and a half by train if you want to go to this school. So, if you are interested to go this summer, for example, we can, uh, you can start with um, two weeks intensive course and you have three options for the accommodation. You have the possibility to choose to stay with a, a host family. So this is the, I will show you the, we, di we did a post on Instagram about that. Okay, so this is all the details in Arabic. So we choose some dates to give you um, an example, but of course we can change the date, we can change the accommodation. It depends on you. Everything is uh, flexible.
So this is the, the details. You can take the course without accommodation and decide to find something by your own. Or you can choose host family to stay with the family. And this is the option I advise usually because you will be uh, with the family and sharing the breakfast and dinner. So this is a great opportunity for you to practice your French language. Or you can choose also if you want to travel with your family to choose a hotel. And uh, this time we choose to work with the Hotel uh, Mercure in France, which is a, a four star hotel. So you have all the details with the prices, the cost. But as I mentioned, everything is possible. We can discuss about that. You can contact me. We can, if you are planning to travel in Paris or going in the south in Nice or Cannes, we have partnership with schools there. So we can find something else with you. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So when you contact me for this uh, summer course, I will uh, help you and finalize all the registration and administrative process. And once everything is f uh, finalized, with uh, you will pay fees at the French Institute. Uh, the cost is 50 KD. And with that, you can access to Capago um, office to apply for the visa without appointment. And during the summer, it's something great because, you know, they are so busy and sometimes you have to wait one month to have an appointment for the, the visa, tourist visa. So with this, um, this offer, you can go without appointment every day of the week between 8.30 and 11.30. Do you have any questions about the summer course or... The DELF exam? Yes. So now I, I suggest to give the... Any exam, it can be both languages or it's only English and French? The, the French certification will be French language. No, no, when they, when they take the test. Uh. Like for example, I come to the institute mm -hmm. and I take the test. Yeah. It's going to be in, in um, French. And is there Arabic or English? Like, for example, you just uh, introduced it to us in English. Yeah. Is there the same as in Arabic? No. When you take course at the French Institute, you start as as beginner. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be in French language, but of course, I think the teacher will uh, adjust with your your level. But all the exams will be in French language. So yeah. no need to know the other language? Like no, no, no. Everything is, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. When I finish, uh, I can uh, take exam dev, uh, 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 or uh, do? Yes, yes, exactly. Two weeks? You take two weeks course, uh, maybe you will finish, I don't know, it's, it's just two weeks, so you will take intensive course, but I think maybe you will not finish all the level A1. Not all A1? No, I don't think so. Two weeks is short, you need more. Yes. But it's a good start. And then if you want to stay more also, it's possible. If you are free and you decide to stay one month, it's possible. One month is possible, one uh, one? If you take, yeah, if you take intensive, maybe it's possible. I can contact the school and ask them. It depends on you also, how you will uh, improve your language, how you will improve your level of French. Uh, I can take it uh, one month? Yes, of course, it's one possible, month. yeah. You can contact me. We discuss about your project. I contact the school. I Okay, if you need to, you want to take the DELF B2 to apply for uh, universities, yeah. yeah, you need time for that. Yeah, uh, how many times? It depends, but uh, typically, uh, I think it's around two years to get to reach the level B2 minimum. If you study in, in, in Kuwait, if you take French course in Kuwait, the minimum is two years. If you go to France and you choose to take intensive course, because you will live in France and you will, you know, practice every day, maybe it will be faster. So that's why it's a good... I cannot give you an uh, exact uh, time to reach the... Uh, no, I know what they're uh, asking about. The foundation of the language, like before they enter the course at uh, university, there's a foundation for, uh, for beginners 
has languages. When they travel to the UK or any other uh, country, they take about from six to nine months. So is it like this in France if, also? If you take one year, there we have many students, they take one year intensive. Mm -hmm. So if they are working hard on it, maybe they can reach the level B2. But I cannot guarantee that yeah, because yeah, of course, it's... it's uh, yeah, yeah, language. exactly. Yes. Okay. About studying in France, you have questions? No? Okay, so I will uh, let my colleagues introduce you the French language and the certification in French. Hello, everyone. Um, so my name is Safa Lehroud. Uh, I'm a French teacher and an education officer in uh, the French Institute. So today I will speak about the level B2 because um, it's a, a real point um, on your study. So, um, uh, so the, the level B2 um, is um, established um, through the, um, the common European framework of reference for language. So um, this is, um, we can say that this is a book where um, um, the level um, of French uh, are defined. So um, it's indicated uh, I uh, the, the ability to communicate uh, fluently and effectively in a wide range uh, s of social and professional contexts. So it is very important, like if you want to study um, in France, um, to have uh, this level, because you can just, as Sa Sarah says, um, to, um, to understand uh, the courses and also to just um, be part of uh, of the the university where y you will go. So uh, the level B two marks a um, significant milestone in language learning um, and opens like uh, some opportunities uh, for you um, to um, to the um, the the studies. So um, uh, just a point of uh, the, um, the common European framework of reference for languages. So this is the, the guideline used uh, to describe language uh, proficiency levels. So it, is, um, uh, it was developed by the Council of uh, Europe to provide um, a standard way uh, of measuring languages uh, skill across different countries uh, and educational systems. So you can find those uh, type of levels in any languages. Um, and it is important to understand that each level is uh, defined uh, by some criteria. So um, uh, to, uh, to achieve uh, one level, you need to um, um, to um, to be familiar with the the points that are um, uh, um, expected in uh, each each levels. So just I will t uh, show you. Well, I can't show you, but I will just uh, read the the what is um, expected for the the B two. So the global scale of the B two. So this is can understand the main ideas of complex texts on both concrete and abstract topics, including technical discussion in his or her field of speci specialization, can interact with the degree of fluency and spontaneity that makes regular interaction with native speakers quite possible without strain for either party can produce clear, detailed text on a wide range of subjects and explain a viewpoint on a topical issue, giving the advantages and disadvantages of various options. So this is the global scale of the B2. And it, it does mean that if you, had, uh, if you have the, the level B2, you can just um, um, speak, English, speak French fluently and, and answer everything. Yes. <laughs> this <laughs> So um, just a defi definition of the level B2, so it corresponds to the, the level uh, independent user, so advanced or independent level. So you need to uh, defend your opinion using arguments and examples. You need to develop uh, points of view and talk about the advantages of and disadvantages, as we say, uh, express cause and consequences. Uh, convince someone, uh, correct yourself, and when you make a mistake, 
uh, take notes, uh, reformulate uh, an idea, uh, and explain what is uh, implicit. So there's also this aspect of implicit that you need to 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 see and um, understand the gist of uh, news um, of a news document. So. Um, this is uh, for the aspect of um, the, the practicing. Um, so I can just, I don't know, I will just speak briefly about grammar and, voca vo grammar and vocabulary. So um, you need to um, be uh, familiar with the, um, uh, the mostly verb, passive and active voices, uh, subord subordinate clauses and uh, idiom with is. So you um, you really need to to um, to be f um, to be familiar with those aspects to reach the level B two, and as you ask it uh, like uh, two years, uh, like Sa says, it's like if you just go to intensive um, uh, work on the level B two, because. Um, as you know, I don't know. Is any does anyone know how many levels there's in uh, in French? Like you say. Yes, and there's also C1 and C2, so A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2, and that the reason why B2 is like the intermediate because this is like half. You are not a beginner, but you're not. Um, this is like a mastery, but just intermediate. But um, it does mean that you need to be um, uh, at ease. French as a second language. I'm sorry. Is it like French as a second language? Yes. No, uh, this is like this is um, a point. Like um, it's not a f first language, but it's as the practice like intermediate. You can if you reach the level B two, it's like you argue in French. Yeah. So you can understand and argue, and even though you, as you said, um, you can of course you can read and write mm -hmm. properly with the grammar. Yeah. Okay. The le the last level is. It's like um, uh, the, the C1 is you can make some mistakes, but not so much. And you can just um, understand what is uh, not expli explicitly said. Um, you have um, this is like um, this is really fl fluent. And the C2 is um, another aspect like is very uh, mo mo more difficult because you can just understand each uh, speciality, uh, each text in uh, each field. So this is like, the, like legal terminology or the medical terminology. Yes, you understand everything. So C2 is, um, uh, we don't speak about French. There's a gap between French, um, like the first language and foreign language. Because, you know, there's this idea that even if you're a f native speaker, um, maybe you don't have uh, as much as vocabulary than uh, uh, someone uh, which has uh, who has the the C2. So there's a difference between like f foreign language and uh, f uh, native uh, speakers of uh, first language. So um, we just say that this is C2 as foreign language. And, then, and this is introduced even here in the French Institute. No need to take it as excessive when you travel. But it's but it's like a, um, an excessive uh, accelerated course if you are in France. Okay. Yes, and there's. Here you take it as uh, steps. Yes, this is like we just um, cut it in different sessions, um, and we just see uh, regarding the support that we use, uh, how long it will take, um, and with the. You know, um, we have some intensive sessions, so it's every day, and it's easy to maintain, you know, the rhythm of um, of learning, and I, th I think it's better. Um, but we also know that some people just have uh, their work and they can't um, come every day, so we have like two uh, two weeks, uh, two days, um, two times a week, sorry, yeah. Um, and um, regarding this um, this schedule, we we just um, think that 
Like for example, the A1, you can just reach uh, the A1 um, following the decision in uh, the institute um, in uh, four sessions. But for example, for the B2, it's like seven sessions. So it's um, it depends on the level and how what we need to to to, to teach also, you know. Well, there's uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, the level B2 is the minimum required. So you can find some master degree in law with the level B2 minimum. But now there is more and more universities asking for level C1 because it's very competitive. And I saw many applications refused because the level with the depth B2 is not uh, enough because they are checking how much you got the marks with the exam of the DELF. If you got, for example, 50 out of 100, they will not give you admission. It's not strong enough, your level of French language. So we advise always to have a strong B2, like you can get, uh, I don't know, 75, 80 minimum, or to reach the level C1 with the DELF C1 is better to be sure to have a chance to get admission. Uh, so, well, we just uh, spoke about the, uh, um, those aspects. I will not enter in the details. So, like grammar and vocabulary, I think that it's um, uh, it's okay for you. So, maybe just uh, a point uh, regarding the um, the. Um, the reading comprehension and uh, the comprehension so we have reading and listening and we have also like uh, um, the speaking so those are also um, things that you need to be prepared for example if you want to, um, um, to the the level b2 and pass the exam you need to uh, you need to um, to to be um, prepared of uh, those uh, different uh, um, competencies. So, um, uh, so for the reading comprehension, for example, um, so the the learners can read and understand like uh, those uh, complex texts. So this is a point that you really need to um, to understand if you want to 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 reach the the level B two because it's very important uh, for as Sarah says for the, um, if you want to register for some master degree, because um, uh, as we say, if you just go to the speciality of law, um, you can't um, um, attempt and follow the, the classes. If you have like um, a week uh, level B2, because um, you will be with people who are native in um, a French university, um, and so the the speaking will be like uh, like if I speak in French as a native speaker. So uh, it's important to have this uh, stronger level B to to just follow the classes, because um, there's the point of um, the class of law is complicated, and you need to add also that you have the. Um, the um, the problematic of the language like uh, you need to make a, a, a more efforts than someone who is a French uh, native speaker so um, to be just uh, at the same um, scale let's say scale uh, of the, the the other students um, you need to have this strong B2 at least so um, does anyone have any question Yeah. <laughs> well, nice. So also uh, at the French Institute, we just uh, provide those. Um, um, we have like preparation to the self. So it is also a way when you just. Um, um, feel that you are uh, ready to 
to put into the level B2, you can just take a propagation of uh, the delve and we just uh, see what is, um, we just enter in the details like what is required for the each competences. Um, and you also come at the, 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 the exam maybe more, um, more, way, uh, more ready than um, just going and because this is also a course like to, to, to pass the exam. So the better is to be ready for, for this. And so we, we have some offers at the, the French Institute. So feel free to contact us and we can just see um, what is your level because we also make like um, uh, some tests um, which just uh, define your level so then you can just see what you need to improve and and see when you can just apply for for the master degree with the, the level B2. بالنهاية أنا أحب أشكر أول شيء الأستاذة سارة والأستاذة صفاء لوجودهم اليوم معنا بشكل عام هم تطرقوا اليوم لمستويات اللغة الفرنسية المتطلبة سواء للي حاب أن يأخذ لغة فرنسية مكثفة طبعا يعتمد على سرعة التجاوب أو حفظ الشخص اللي رح يدخل يأخذ البرنامج هذا يعني هم قاعد يعطونه بشكل عام لمدة أسبوعين مبدئيا يكون يعني مثل يعني يكون تقدرون مثلاً تتكلمون بشكل بسيط حابين تتسوقون تمشون حالكم يعني بالنسبة حق اللي يبي يسجل دراسات عليا في الجامعات الفرنسية لازم يكون عنده مثل ما ذكروا البي بي تو راك the for this بي تو at least بن الأقل شيء البي تو ويكون بي تو يعني بمستوى متقدم النسبة ما عالية في بعض الجامعات تشترط المستوى الآخر اللي متقدم بالنسبة للسي سي ون تطرقوا للموضوع بخصوص المستويات الموجودة أنا أفضل أن اللي حاب يقدم على جامعات خارجي فرنسا يعني أول شيء يبتدي من المعهد الفرنسي بما أن مثلا ما نقدر نسافر ناخذ كورس مكثف بدام إحنا بالكويت هني بسطينا لكم مرتين بالأسبوع How many hours in a week? Uh, one hour or two hours uh, the two session? Hours. Okay. So, uh, two hours per, uh, per, per day. day. Per yes, day. So this is uh, ساعتين uh, باليوم لمدة uh, هنقول يبتدي است... تقول من ستة أشهر وممكن ي... لي سنتين. فلأن الكورس خفيف مو مكثف فياخذ وقت أكثر. اللي ما يقدر يسافر يأخذ مكثف ممكن يبتدي من المعهد الفرنسي هني عندنا اتفاقية تعاون معهم حاطين حفظ الرقم اللي موجود فوق تقدرون تتواصلون مع أستاذة سارة أو أستاذة صفاء أنصحكم بهذا البرنامج وايد راح يساعدكم سواء حتى لو ما تبون تكملون دراسات عليا بال بالمهنة أساسا راح يكون عندنا مثل ما ذكرت لكم تعاون مع منظمات دولية تعاون مع محامين فرنسيين وأجانب المر قبل فترة استضفنا المحامي الفرنسي اللي كان خاص بالدفاع عن غزة طبعا هني ويبنى ويبنى ترجمة ولكن كان في وايد دكاترة وايد محامين في القانون يعني يجدون اللغة الفرنسية كان سهل عليهم التواصل معهم راح تفتح لكم اللغة أفاق كثيرة مو شرط تكملون يعني كمحامين ولا كأكاديميين ولكن لازم يكون عندكم لغة ثانية الفرنسية وايد لغة حلوة صعبة إيه بس مع الممارسة راح تكون وايد سهل عليكم شكرا لكم thank you very much thank you so much for attention I hope we answered your your questions and uh, we know the complexity of the French education system so please feel free to contact me if I can help you I will be glad to to come with you and uh, help you in all the application process and uh, your, if you wish to travel in France to study the French language, I will help you for all of that. Thank you very much.